opponent, Seksan Sitsmoy Tai, who is now living in Los Angeles. Rodney Key says uh, he's from Seattle and he just decided to become the showman. Well, I understand this young man is always in shape, a lot of lateral movement, he likes to box. He mixes his hands and feet up. I've never seen him fight. This is just what I've talked to some other guys in the sport and this is what they told me. Sexan Sit Muay Thai was very soft-spoken. We tried to interview him earlier in the evening, which is about nine hours ago. And uh, he speaks English, but he was so shy that uh, he really didn't want to do an interview before the fight. He expected to do very well against Rod Key. Key, on the other hand, uh, said he didn't really care who his opponent was, that he planned to put on a show and uh, and he planned to win convincingly. So we'll have to wait and see. There's a look at Rod Key. Let's go down to Jimmy Lennon Jr. ringside. Jimmy. All right, fans, here we go. Our next time coming your way again. Five three-minute rounds of kickboxing. Introducing to you on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Entering the ring wearing dark blue pants. He hails from Seattle, Washington. The weight tonight is 126 pounds, and his record, 21 wins, 9 losses. The bantamweight and featherweight kickboxing champion of the world, please welcome the two-time world kickboxing champion, Rod Key. And this corner on my left, fighting out of the red corner in this five roundup, wearing white trunks with red trim, Haley from Los Angeles, California, fighting out of the Muay Thai Academy of America. Weighing in tonight, 126 and one half pounds, introducing Sexon Sit Muay Thai. Sexon Sit Muay Thai, 25 wins, 7 losses, 18 knockouts. This is the sixth fight of the evening as this card has gone along here in, in Anaheim, and we've yet to see a knockout. Have to wait and see if Rodney Key or Six on Sit Muay Thai can put one on here for the crowd. The music starts, and again, it's a, it's a lot slower. This is the traditional Y crew ritual that the Thai fighters are going through. Blessing corners and knocking spirits out of other corners. And Rod Key has none of that. I don't think he likes anybody stealing the show from him. One hundred and twenty six pounders. Rod Key is the former bantamweight and the present featherweight world champion. Six on Sid Boyntai moved to Los Angeles about a year ago from Bangkok. Right out of the Muay Thai Academy of America in Los Angeles. We're in the beautiful Celebrity Theater in Anaheim, California. Karate International Council of Kickboxing, KICK, presents World Muay Thai Championships. There's a belt for every winner this evening, and Rodney Keehan. Six one sit Muay Thai. Expect to uh, be wearing that shiny thing when this one's over. Five rounds, three round or three minute rounds with two minute breaks in between. And Kale, uh, you expect anything different from this one than yeah, we've seen in previous bouts? I really do. I was just thinking as you were talking about uh, Rod Key, what what he's talked about doing. He he promises to throw a lot of combinations, going upstairs and downstairs, kicking the legs a lot, kicking to the head a lot, and as you've mentioned several times I think you may see some of the spinning kicks out of this young man he's uh, did a double front jump kick earlier which is indicative there may be a taekwondo practitioner uh, in his traditional aspects uh, and the other gentleman looks like he's very soft-spoken uh, very mild-mannered young man very polite you can't help but like the kid um, Rod has a face I wouldn't want to meet outside in, in, in the evening <laughs> only, only his mother could appreciate that I mean, he looks angry <laughs> Looks like he drank a, a gulp of, uh, <laughs> old, of old milk and came out in lumps. I agree. Here we go, round one for the featherweight championship of the world. Oh, a good kick by Sid Boy Thai. Another good one. He gives it all. He's unloading early. Oh, 
good left hand. That was a nice, it's sloppy actually, but he was timed well. That was the only blow that Rodkey threw, and it decked him quick, and he still uh, doesn't seem to have it. Watch Sit Muay Thai, his chin's way up in the air. He's he not gonna last. No, you can see his legs are wobbly. Here comes Key. Trying to finish it off here, rights and lefts and rights and lefts, and out of the blue, oh, he landed just kind of a thunderous punch. Oh, he's trying to throw an elbow. Six on Sid Muay Thai, trying to recover from that one good shot landed by Rod Key. That happens sometimes if you don't warm up enough in the back, come out a little stiff. Hear the music picking up. Again, Key drops him with a punch that seemed to come out of nowhere. That was a slip. It was more of a slip. They're gonna call it a slip. That little uppercut Key's got is very effective. There's some of that uh, kicking of the knee into the stomach area that's so effective from these Thai boxers. Sidmoy Thai puts a lot into those kicks. You said it, a big right hand. Sidmoy Thai doesn't seem to have much of a Watch him lock his head down toward that knee. He's dangerous when he's hurt. Both times that Rodkey hurt him, once he, he went for, for trying to grab the head, pointing it to the knee, which is an illegal tactic. The other right. time, he tried throwing the elbow, which is also yeah. illegal. Like you said, dangerous when he's hurt. Now it was picked off successfully by Rod. Very exciting first round, and a good right to the head, and that was no slip. They don't call it a slip, though. Yeah, but it wasn't a slip, was it? Right. <laughs> He's really ready to launch that right hand. Sit Muay Thai is still hurt a little bit, I think. Holding on, using the uh, the knee and the infighting, and that's that was legal we saw in a fight earlier that you, where they let two Thai fighters go at it, but it, under California Athletic Commission rules, that is not allowed. Also, the end of round one, and a busy round even after the bell. If you'll watch in boxing, a referee will step between two fighters and break them. And watch this referee, he will push them together so they can't throw the knees. He'll nullify the attack by pushing the two fighters' chest together. Then he will separate them. Looking at the corner of Sexan Sid Muay Thai. It looked like he was tagged a few times yeah. by, uh, by Rod Key, and each time he used some special tactics to nullify Key's thing. Let's take a look at some earlier action. Here's a, was, was this a knockdown or not? Let's take a look. Rod Key. Watch this left hand. See. Right to the chin, or actually to the nose, and it just really dropped him. Wasn't much of a punch. There's the Sonny Liston punch. Yeah. Did Cassius Clay really throw that punch? Somebody threw something. I've still never seen it. Six on Sonny Muay Thai hit his head pretty hard. Though. That's That could have done more damage than anything else. And now the ring girl to win all ring girls is going to come in. And uh, listen to the, uh, to the response from the crowd. Diane Curry. Only in California. And tonight, only in Anaheim, California. Yes, is it plastic or is it real? Only her surgeon knows. But she's definitely a blonde. I just wanted you to know that Cale Baker said that, <laughs> not Bruce Breslin. Ready to go round two. Rod Key versus Sexan Sit Muay Thai. Key with a big advantage in round one. But Sit Muay Thai proving that he's very dangerous. Key doesn't appear to have the flashy style that we saw from some, but he sure has some thunder in his hands. Well, he slipped. It's a good thing he did. He beat up a straw tomorrow morning. A good kick by 
sit more time. And headlock. <laughs> WWF. Sid Muay Thai came ready to fight this round. A key going into some of the uh, American boxing tactics of uh, trying to show up your opponent. Sid Muay Thai is showing some great mobility to be able to kick and get his leg up when he's tied up like that. Flexibility on these fighters is incredible. It's necessary, very necessary. Round with a wild left. It's been very close to ending this fight, some of those punches. He hits with he, well, he lets everything fly. The technique is not the best in the world, but when he hits you, you stay hit. The bantamweight and featherweight champion of the world, Rod Key. Oh, he almost ducked right into that. Look at Key's right arm. You see the discoloration? Less than a minute to go round two. See the right arm? It's really getting red. Nice kick and nice punch by Key by uh, Sid Moy Good exchange. And it's very hands up. partisan Thai crowd getting into it. There's some of the uh, not quite legal tactics there by grabbing in, in headlocks and kicking down below the belt. They're letting them go. As a referee, you don't really want to step in the middle of that. Well, Rod Key knows he's in one. Knows he's in a fight tonight. Oh, good right lead by Key. Good left, but I tell you, six on sit in my tie fights better when he's hurt than when he's healthy. You're absolutely right. Some in him snaps. Good right. That time it was his neck that snapped. Yeah. Key landed a good one at the end of the round. And sit Muay Thai sits right down. He's, that round lasted 10 more seconds. He just sat down unwilling. So look in the corner. Uh, six one from Los Angeles, California. Well, these guys are hitting with some thunder in this fight. We need to get some ice back in his neck, cool him down a little bit. See if we can see Rod Key's corner. Here is Rodney. Very collected, very organized corner. Not nearly the excitement. Work on that. Okay, now you gotta surprise him. You got a round kick to his face and shock him. Okay? I think that was Blinky Rodriguez talking. Blinky was a former middleweight champion in the world. And his credits with having one of the best left hooks in the business. Let's take a look at some pretty good action from this round. See six on Sit Muay Thai uh, getting in some pretty good shots there on Rod Key early, but Key came back strong at the end of that round. Absolutely. This has been a very fast pace. And really neither fighters breathing that hard considering all the action they've been through. Well, I wouldn't say that. He <laughs> looks like he's breathing pretty good. <laughs> that was deliberate, though. <laughs> This ought to be a really good round. We got three more minutes, round number three. Kind of the pivotal round in most of these fights. Stiff left to the nose. You see him hold on to the rope for leverage. 
Key's all business in this fight, too. A little, little sumo style there. Yeah. I don't think that would please Rod Key. Again, he's got him in a, like a headlock chokehold and then kicks him in the neck. That's really and unnecessary. Him again. That's unnecessary. He gets a take one point away from yeah. that. It's totally unnecessary for the sport. Ta yeah, he's taking away a point. He may have opened a can of One of the judges is telling the referee to disqualify the fighter. He's standing up telling the referee to disqualify the fighter. And it's a tie judge that is telling him to disqualify him. See the gentleman standing up on the left? In the, in the maroon sport jacket? Yes. He's the tie judge. And he is telling the referee to disqualify the fighter. And I believe that's exactly what the referee is going to do. We'll have to wait and see if one judge can do that. I've never quite, I've never seen a judge stand up in the middle of the fight and order that. I don't know if he has the authority. As commissioner of the Muay Thai, he can. And I believe that's what he's done, and, and rightly so. Texan Sit Muay Thai taking uh, some illegal advantage earlier with a lot of headlocks and uh, some headbutts and kicking into the groin, and finally uh, that was it. They ruled it to stop it. I think that might have been to uh, Sit Muay Thai's advantage, because I believe that uh, Rod Lee would have come out and come into the fight in the next round. That's totally unnecessary. Many of these fans are uh, very much pro Thai fans, and they're starting to throw a lot of things. And a lot of the debris is being aimed at Rod Key, which isn't fair either. There's a look at Rod. From the size of some of these security guards, I wouldn't think you'd mess around with these guys. No, they need to, when people throw things like that, they need to just throw them out of the stadium, throw them out of the auditorium. But what uh, Sexton Sit Muay Thai did was totally uncalled for. He pushed him to the ground with a headlock. And you can see right. both representatives from both sides don't want to uh, shake hands and make up when this is over. Let's take another look at what happened here. Watch it. Sit Muay Thai. Gets him in a headlock, a chokehold. Now, now watch his knee come up. Referee's trying to separate it. He kicks him right there while he's down. The referee's still pulling him away. Now watch again. He still got him, and he kicks him again right in the head. 